I've done something different today and I've asked my dad to do this tutorial. The reason being, I don't think dad's ever painted dungeon terrain before, so I thought it'd be really cool to see how a complete beginner goes about painting these tiles and what really great effects they can get anyway. In this video I'm going to show you how to paint your Modular Realms adventure pack with the, with the marble. We're actually going to create marble effects. We've got this lovely green, uh, this sort of brownie uh, pattern, and last but not least this uh, sienna colour as well. So you want to see how I painted these? Watch the rest of the video. Now I know you can get uh, the old marble tiles um, like this which has that uh, filament in it. It looks really good and that's fine but what I'm going for now is actually want to have a colourful marble effect and what I'm going to do is just using some cheap paints lots of uh, gaudy colours in here but all I want is uh, the green oh what's this one here? I won't use black I might use a bit of yellow a bit of raw sienna and a bit of burnt umber oh and white as well and we won't touch the red so what we're going to do is just really paint up layers and then put some uh, little veins in the in the tiles as well. So let's how are we going to do these? So let's do. You know, I'll do it like this. I'll do one set. One set. Uh, um, uh, what do we call this color? Sienna. Um, another set in uh, green. And another set in brown. So let's get started. So what we're going to do now is start off with some white. And we're going to create lots of base colours uh, and then basically just build it up. And the good thing about this is if you make a mistake, it doesn't matter, you just put another layer on top and the better it looks. So let's just quickly paint this in white. I've now completed this one. This one's still a little bit damp, so what I'm going to do is actually put some of this on here as well. Just put it just splashing on in different places. So this one's going to be our green, so we do that with a uh, green and white. So now I'll coat this with uh, a nice green and white. And it doesn't matter the fact it's not mixed in properly, because remember this is a base coat and we're going to go over it with many layers. Come back in a second. So that's that completed now. And let's face it, it doesn't look much like a marble, does it? But one of the good things is you can just keep the things about doing the marble is all about just putting more and more and more and building up more layers. If you don't like something, just go over the top of it. So I'm thinking I need a bit more a bit more white on this. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm just going to splash more white on here. I'm even going to put some more white on the green. I might even do some more on here. So, and I'm literally just using a sponge to sponge it on. Now, let's get on with the... Uh... Right, let's take some of it off. Let's try and make it match. Let's try and put some of this white on. Let's move on to this one. So what are we doing here? Are oh, we doing brown on this? You know what, I'm just going to go straight for brown and see what we get. This one I'm going to use the old sponge. Do I want to water this one down? No, let's just dab it all over and see what happens. No, this is not going to work. I'm going to... Oh, carry on. I'll just quickly bring you back. So what I'm also doing is I don't like some of the yellow showing through. So I'm actually dabbling on some of this brown. Sorry, Sienna. And then using this to take it off again. When it starts drying, it seems to look really good. I'm hoping what you're learning from this is when you make a mistake, it doesn't matter, carry on. Just keep doing extra layers. 
and you can, you know, it brings out another completely different effect. I think that is looking not bad as it goes. What I wouldn't mind doing is putting on a bit of the white in places. What happens if I do this? Oh, that's quite a good effect. What well, doesn't help is these silly yellow lines. I need to Let's cut this first. Let's do the lines and then come back and have a look. So I've done the edges. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't like this. It's just too dark, and this one's a bit too dark. So what I'm going to do? I've cut this one down. This hasn't gone that well, to be honest. But that's good because then you're learning and seeing when you make mistakes, you just need to paint through it and go over again. But what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put the veins in the marble and then put the next layer on. And for this, all you need is a feather. You can use a paintbrush, but with a feather, you can then get all these squiggly lines. And all I'm doing here is just getting a line and then just drawing lines in the, in the tiles. So we're just coming to an end of uh, putting these uh, veins in. There we go, that's it. So what I'm going to do now is start splashing on. So let's carry on and do the rest of this and see what it looks like. So I've dabbed this across and now I'm just using the brush to smooth it out a bit. I think that looks too bad. I'm just wondering if to try and add a bit more. So some of them are stronger and some of them are more, yeah. So some of the veins you can see under the coats and some on the top. Okay, I quite like that. I'm going to leave that to dry now and then I'm going to give it a, a coat of varnish. So with the brown, I just walked it down a bit and I'm dabbing it on and then really spreading it out thin so I can make sure I still see the veins underneath. And then what I would do there, so I've got this nice fin, fin so I can see the veins, and then afterwards I'll put a couple of dark brown bits in various places to bring out the, the texture. So that's finished now, I think we've uh, saved the brown. Um, the green is my favourite so far which has had the least amount of work done. It's had one coat of light and then white dabbled, draw some lines in and then green dabbled on top of it. This one I'm not so sure about, but what I'm going to do is let it dry, going to varnish it and let's see what it looks like when it's varnished. Here are our finished tiles and literally all I've done is put a coat of gloss over the top of them. And that's them complete. I think the green is probably one of my favourites. Um, 
Yeah, I did, that green was the easiest to do, wasn't it? Remember, I just did light green at the top, dabble some white, do some black, dabble some green. Bob's your badger. So that's the green. The brown's quite nice as well. I think, um, considering I made a mess of that to begin with and restarted it, I think that's turned out quite nicely. And then even um, the Serena's not too bad as well. You know, I quite like that. Maybe if I did this again, I'll do this more white and then I'll do a light water down the sienna and then dab it off. So there you have it. Thank you for listening.